be a lot of editing on this video. Hi guys, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel? If not, click that little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, hello. It's like way into the afternoon. I was vlogging all morning and doing all kinds of like, I forgot Victoria's got an archery banquet tonight and I had to make a thing to bring to it. It's like a potluck thing. Just not that mom. Anyway, I'm on my way to pick it to grab the stuff off my porch because at, at the end of the sale, I got to get everything that's in the yard or on the porch out of the yard of the porch. So I'm going to go do that and um, possibly make it back in time to go with my family to this thing because they're leaving at 4.30 and maybe I'll go with them, maybe not. I don't really want to go. I just, I would rather be home because we have auction hall to do. All right, so I took all my stuff in. Everything that Jeff and I brought over there for the yard sold. Every uh, piece that I bought at the church rummage sale sold. And then one small side table, I remember I picked that up for like five bucks somewhere. And I have one table left. That's back there, it's going to Vintage Junkie. And they didn't buy the uh, hanging planters and I think because I couldn't see them. Because I had the window space. Anyway, I got those in the back too and they're going to Vintage Junkie. So pretty much everything on the porch went, but I more than made back the money I spent on the church sale, that's for sure. I think I paid, what was it, 30, 30, $40 at that sale? And I more than made that back with the pieces that sold. Oh my God, you guys. So it's like the middle of the night. Everybody's going to bed out there and I have to get a haul video for you guys. So <laughs> doing this for you. Not just because I'm very curious what's in these boxes. So I had empty bins that were in the back of the van and we put some stuff in it. This piece was one that somebody didn't pick up, you guys. So I saw it when I got there and she was like, that goes with that metal tray. It's a coffee pot. It's electric. I, what are they called? Like semivar or some? I don't know. It's got a name. I can't remember. What does it say? Yeah, brass and emerald samovar. So I some days I can't remember uh, Old Spice, but I can remember that this is a samovar. Huh? good for me. Uh, <laughs> it's for coffee. It's like a Turkish coffee, I think. Um, I, I have not ever had one before. I don't have a lot of experience with them. So, I mean, it's just gorgeously hand painted. It goes with that beautiful, lovely tray from yesterday um, that would catch the drips and stuff. And I believe it would have had cups that matched, but I don't know if they're there. I don't know if they're in any of the boxes. I just know that somebody came for their auction hall and didn't pick this up. I'm like, oh my gosh. Never had one before. So it's kind of cool. These are the lights for all the Christmas villages. So she had string lights that you could do multiple um, homes in the village on. And I got all the villages somewhere out there. So these are the lights for the village, which will be great because I'm going to have them. I will light them up. Oh, there's more, you guys. So we've got some vintage Westinghouse light bulbs in here. Along with the actual string of lights and the reflectors. So not a full set of reflectors. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these. They're really old. These are probably... 
20s or 30s. They're a little dangerous. I can see that there's a little wear in the cord right here, but oh my gosh, look at that. Just to have them, just to have them. There's a whole set of them, there's a whole string of them. Christmas lights, old Christmas lights. I love them, thank you, Janet. And then we're gonna do one more box. She packed a box and I believe it was one that I actually bid on. It's so heavy. I had to get the, I had to get the hubby to bring it up the stairs because I, I started lifting it and I went, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I would have never packed it that heavy. Janet is a workhorse. So heavy, I'm not putting it up here on the table. <gasps> So I bought a box lot of China. I know this was in it, but there wasn't the backs of every single one. There was images of the front. And this is a very beautiful piece of chintzware. It was hung on her wall, clearly. And it says, James Kent Limited, made in England. Um, Dewberry, Fenton. This is Fenton. It's in perfect condition. I'm gonna try and keep them that way. So this one has a little crack and crazing in it. It's still really, really pretty. It's Dresden Semi-Vitreous Porcelain. Uh, no, I don't think I did bid on this one. I think this was the one she threw in for free. It's a Norwegian plate. We have a lot of Norwegian Swedes up here. This is very charming. Very cute, girls on the Norwegian plate and it says made in Norway on the back. That will sell in the booth, easy, easy. It's very much a cultural thing here. Um, the people who are older in the Lindstrom area, even my grandmother, they were the second generation. So their parents were from Norway. So there's still a lot of pride in their heritage here, our heritage here. I think that's any culture that came to America, which I don't know if that's just like a strange America thing, because we're not that many generations removed from people who, you know, were from other countries. So a lot of times, like I used to travel for business and I would go overseas and they would, they would think it was funny when they'd say, what nationality are you? And I would say, well, I know you're going to, you're going to laugh because I won't say American. And I said, I'm an American. But when we say nationality here, we say, I'm Norwegian Swede, my dad was Polish, you know, and they'll, they thought that was hilarious because they're just English. You know, they're from England. Eight pieces of Limoges China. So this is actually cracked. This cup is very badly cracked, very badly damaged. It's still Limoges. I mean, sometimes even cracked, you can get some value off of it, but it says it's eight pieces of Limoges China. So they must be in here somewhere. This is a ship. I feel like this is German. Wappen von Hamburg. Nautical is still, you know, a thing. Frigate Anfang. That's a frigate on fang. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of that wrong, but she's got a full set of nautical. There's another frigate on fang from the front this time. I will clearly have to be doing some research on this because I don't have any idea. I'm not a nautical person. Another frigate, different side, like all sides of this ship. This must be a thing. Must be an important ship. Volschiff might. Call me a Volschiff. You can't be friends if you do. Okay. A schooner brig on fang. Schooner brig on fang. International Holz, Holzafell. 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 But I feel like it's German because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I could get by with Norwegian Swede. But I, I know that other countries think that's hilarious that we say stuff like that. But 
it's very much an American thing. We, a lot of, a lot of the people who are here, some of them are just one generation removed and a lot of them are only two generations removed. And like my great grandma still spoke primarily Norwegian, you know? My great grandpa would tell me dirty jokes in Norwegian and then laugh because I didn't understand them. I didn't know till I was older that's what he was doing, but apparently that was a thing. I love this. Okay, so it's from the American Revolution Bicentennial, 1976, from Staples, Minnesota. Staples, Minnesota is north of here. So it's, it's kind of up by the Iron Range. It's another one. Uh, second series, Revolution, American Revolution Bicentennial, 1776-1976, Staples, Minnesota, second in the series. This is amazing. Worldwide Art Studios in Tennis, Covington, Tennessee. They have their own plate. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And this is Nortaki. Yeah, I'm gonna finish that article on Nortaki. So I started working on a, a article for a magazine about Nortaki, China, and it got pulled. Um, they decided they didn't want it. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna post it on my own website. Because I swear, if you were a bride in the 60s, you had to have Nortaki, China, am I right? Even Priscilla Presley had Norataki China. It's gonna get too heavy up here. Good you uh, this is this is Norwegian. It says miscellaneous China lot 142. This is from Berquist Importers. That's in St. Paul, right? Cloquet. So that's up by Duluth. Um, I've been there. I get my lingonberry jam when we go up there. Gotta have that lingonberry jam. We'll sell at the booth, no problem. Make the season bright in China. It's just a plain white China plate. It'll look super pretty in the booth. Looks like there's two and then there's another Norwegian plate under here. These Norwegian plates will sell. So if you're watching, and I know a lot of you are from Texas, South Carolina, Florida, New York, and you're going, what's with the Norwegian plates? This is like gravy. I, I'll sell this all day long. Manga tuck. Many thanks. Manga tuck. <laughs> so it's just a thanks plate. <laughs> thanks for watching, manga tuck. And I took you to Tucson tuck. That's also Norwegian. But thank you very much. So thank you very much, thrift store. Tucson Manga tuck. <laughs> See, that's why I'm Norwegian, I can get by. German, not so much. This box is still full, guys. We're even close to done. And this is one box out of a van full. Jiminy Cricket, guys. Jiminy Cricket. Here's the la 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 you know, we can always plant plants in them. Can always put a succulent in a in a teacup that's been damaged. The the saucer is chipped as well, so I mean it's just put a succulent in it. Put a fake succulent in it. Then you don't have to worry about water getting through the cracks and wrecking the and like cracking the getting dirt all over the place. What am I trying to say? I have no idea talking out my butt. Okay. Anyway, here is the, uh, tea plate or the, like you put your little cakes on there, your little appetizer plate, saucer, and then cup. So it's a full set. And it did say there was eight, right? Eight piece. So we're up to three of the eight. There's gotta be like a plate that goes with it in here. Yep. So here's like a salad plate. So the dinner plate. Yep. So it's a two piece set. And the set had four pieces. So it's Limoges. She would have had a setting for two in the Limoges set. I don't know what this pattern is. The plates are in good condition. The saucer is not. The cup is not. 
So the plates we could do something with, but the uh, cup and saucer will probably end up being a plant holder. It's still a very pretty plant holder. Shabby chic china. She was part of Antiques Minnesota, so there's a lot in here that you're going to see that is Minnesota related, and it makes sense to me, but it might not if you're watching this and you don't know that. So Antiques Minnesota, she was a member. And this says Minnesota Horticultural Society, um, 1866. My grandma would have loved this. My grandma was part of the Minnesota Horticultural Society. She was very big on planting and keeping her gardens nice. So she would have loved that. That would have been one we ended up picking up, her and I. Another Minnesota-related one. No, this is Norway. Yep, it's from Norway. She must have traveled to Norway. Um, it's a little map plate from Norway. Very cute. Again, Grady. Okay, so for those of you who do not know this, Itasca State Park is where the Mississippi River begins. So it goes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, but it starts in Itasca and you can walk across it. And I've walked across it several times. I brought Victoria when she was little and we walked across the mouth of the Mississippi. Um, before it becomes a raging river, it is a small little trickle and this is where it starts. And this is from 1977, sixth issue, Royal Blue Chateau. Um, Winter Park, Florida plate for decorative purposes only. Here you are 1,475 feet above the ocean. The mighty Mississippi begins to flow on its winding way 2,552 miles to the Gulf of Mexico. That post is up there. Still up there. It's a thing. You got to do that thing here if you're going to live here. If you have, okay, if you're watching and you're from Minnesota and you have not walked across the mouth of the Mississippi, you get in your car this summer, you get up to Itasca. Itasca State Park. And there's some really cool pioneer cabins up there. Love the history. I would I'd get the Here Here app and go. Anyway, Minnesota, Old Main, 1906, Concordia College, Moorhead, 1981. Another Royal Blue Chateau. So she must have been collecting. Royal Blue Chateau? I don't know. Oh, 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 look at them. The little parakeets. You guys, there are bird lovers and there are bird lovers and they will love this. It's a hand-painted parakeet plate. Look how cute. Look at them. Look at the face. They're so cute. I love stuff like that. Look at them, the little cherubs with a violin and a little flute. Look at you. I see you, little cherub. A Merry Christmas plate. Norris Fine China. Merry Christmas. I'm looking Christmas stuff. Another Christmas plate. And this is limited edition Thomas Kincaid, best tradition, old fashioned Christmas with Thomas Kincaid. The Paintings and Light from Thomas Kincaid. I think it's ubiquitous that every antique store or vintage shop should have a Thomas Kincaid somewhere. You know, he did beautiful work. It just got cheap being in every mall and on every... I think the paintings themselves were lovely. He just took that whole marketing next level, you know, so it just became on, like... Thomas Kincaid socks and blankets. I mean, it's like you kind of dilute your brand at that point, I think. I uh, Maybe I should get some Stacey Verdict case underwear. <laughs> Happy Duncan panties. <laughs> oh, it's happening now. <laughs> you guys need more sleep. Nobody move. Be a lot of editing tonight. I'm not going to bed for a while. 1937. B and G plate from 1937. 
How about that? It's it's beautiful. It's in perfect condition. She had it hanging on her wall. Um, more Limoges. Oh, it's a bowl. She did. She didn't have two piece set. These are bowls. It's a fruit bowl and a cereal bowl. What else is there? In a full set. She's got one full set of Limoges china. Huh. It's crazing all over this one. Uh, but there's no cracks. Oh, no, there's chips. So there's chips. So the Limoges was not a great. I think it, it was one of those collector moments where you're like, I want a Limoges. I don't have a china that I would be like, I want that. I have my china that I love. I love old country roses. And I, whenever I find pieces out in the wild, they come home with me. Y'all have seen it. This is interesting. Czechoslovakia. Otmar Erbach. Otmar Erbach. I don't know if it goes this way or this way, but it's from Czechoslovakia. It's a bowl from Czechoslovakia. Um, let's see. Limoges. What's this bowl then? This is a really fancy set, y'all. So if that was cereal, what's the soup? Soup. Of course it's soup. And this is also hand-painted, made in Germany. Hand-painted from Germany. I'm surprised. Okay. Because y'all know I kind of have a thing for the German and Bavarian hand-painted florals. I'm actually surprised this isn't a floral. Um, I've not seen too many fruit motifs. There's going to have to be some research on that. It's just a made in Germany stamp. Um, it has the wonderful scalloped raised edge. There's a little chip in it. Love the blue. But I typically see this with the beautiful roses and hand painted florals in the center. I have not seen a, a fruit. That's a new one on me. I feel like his mother is educating me from beyond the grave because I will now have to learn all about this before I can do anything with it. And um, some of you had said, don't carry that baggage into selling it. Believe me, I don't pick up bags that aren't mine. I, I'm not that kind of person. I won't, I won't pick up your baggage. <laughs> I feel for you by picking up your baggage. No, I'm not carrying the baggage into this, but I do feel a sense of responsibility um, when I know that somebody has lovingly curated a collection of some kind. And I mean, it's clear to me that this person loved what she did. Um, so I just, I just want to make sure that it's respected. Does that make sense? It's not, it's not that I'm like, oh, I can't sell it because she loved it. No, 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 nothing like that. But I do have a sense of being, being the next curator or the next I, like I'm just here to facilitate it moving to the right place. You know, it, if they were going to take it and pitch it all and I'm going, okay, no, I can't. There's some beautiful pieces. I mean, pitch this, the horticultural society played. Somebody's going to want that. The Sabrina line in 22 karat gold made in the USA. There will be a collector for that. And it could be that they go, that's the one I'm missing. You don't even know how many times I posted one random freaking plate on Etsy and it sells. And they're like, that was the one I was missing. It was the color or the pattern or the, you know, the fruits or the, oh my gosh. I listed these plates and I was like so shocked because this woman, she's like, I'm crying. You don't even know. She was so excited to get this damn plate. So I wrapped it really good. I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to hear this. It was broken when it arrived, when she's waited that long for that plate. We're almost done. Got a cup. I can see it's a cup. But I don't know what it is. Oh, the Fire King. <laughs> I saw... This, uh, nobody bid on this lot. It was one random Fire King. And I don't know if they thought the one random Fire King would bring, like, a high value. But it's one... Doesn't even have the saucer. 
This would have come in. It's a stacking. They stacked. They're super cute. I love Fire King. I adore Fire King, actually. Fire King was the first big money I made in this business. I found the square ones. Sold them for a fortune to me. Because, you know, in Minnesota, nothing goes for what you guys pay for it. On the coast. So when you see that one random piece or you get a box lot with one random piece, you're like, what's, I'm not going to go through the effort of posting that. Go through the effort. I've made money going, oh my gosh, really? Somebody bought that? Madison, Wisconsin, get rid of this trash. Wisconsin. Well, it's a Scotty piece for you Scotties out there. Uh, it is made in Germany, E.G. Weissel for Madison, Wisconsin. Ashtray. Surprised it's not a beer sign, Wisconsin. Oh, oh, bring it. Yeah. <laughs> you got four bars and no gas station. Don't talk to me, Wisconsin. Okay. Anyway. This is what I'm used to seeing from the German pottery. So this is the Bavarian, one of the Bavarian pieces, which I would have called it German, but it says right on the back main Bavaria. But this is what I'm used to seeing with those beautiful scallops and the hand painted is the florals. Um, some of the florals are so stunning. There was a blue and white rose one that, oh, brought tears to my eyes. It was just so pretty in person but I'm not accustomed to seeing fruit. So I'll have to check that out. Um, Edwin Knoll's ivory. So it's sad that it broke. It is chipped, but it's Edwin Knoll's. Um, this one says made in England. I cannot read that. Rose. Oh, it's Staffordshire. <laughs> it's Staffordshire. China. Well, that would make sense being from England. When two, when two fond hearts as one unite, the yoke is easy and the burden is light. Isn't that sweet? It's very sweet. Love sentiment. Oh, my God. Johnson's Pottery Hand Decorated, Birmingham, New York. Donald my plate it's got a goose on it i love these i had one that is in my etsy shop now and i'm still staggered that it's still in there and it's a dopey plate that somebody made and this has got a goose on it with a hat look at him get the hat oh my god i love it it's like the paint your old pottery places now right isn't that what it would be like Hand decorated. I, I don't know. It looks like an amateur job. It's got Donald's name on it. It says my plate. So I, in my mind, when I see these, I think of like that pottery place we have here now. It's like, oh, ooh, there's some rat poop on there. Okay. Well, perils of the job, haunt of virus, you know, is there a vaccine for that? Okay. So I'm going to die soon. I can't remember what the paint your own pottery place is called in town, but we've done it with Victoria where you can paint a plate and you can put anything you want on it. That's what I think of when I see those. I could be completely wrong. Wouldn't be the first time, but y'all can correct me in the comments. I'm sure just, you know, respectfully. I don't do this for, you know, my health anyway. Oh, she's charming. I know nothing about this. I love the pierced porcelain. I absolutely love when I find these. And that they're intact. I mean, it's just, oh, yummy. But look at her. And she's got her own little angel babies there with her. She's very ethereal. I have no idea what she is or who she is. I'll have to do some research on that one. I like research. So that's a good thing. Um, Hemming, Minnesota. I think this is someone's dog on a plate. Like it's Hemings, Minnesota. And it says something down here that I cannot read. It's a souvenir plate with a dog from Hemings, Minnesota. 
and then nothing. <gasps> More fruit. It's from Bavaria. Made in Germany for gumps. This is a newer one. You can tell by the back stamp, but it's newer, obviously. Again, it's fruit. I am befuddled. Um, the Big Store, 1913. Making of Our Lady, our flag. Uh, it's Betsy Ross and the flag. Repulled. China Co. Very patri She's very patriotic. Oh. It's so pretty. It's not marked. There's no back stamp, but there are multiple. I had a small set of plates that had these same sort of flowers on them. A little stack of them, just like these. They sold at Junk Bonanza. Sweet little set. And now I've got a larger sweet little set. Again, a shabby chic sort of pattern to it. How many are there in the same pattern? One, two, three, four, five, six, a set of six. They're charming. There's a crack on this one. The rest of them looked okay. A president of the United States. This is a Franklin Mint. She loved China. She absolutely loved her China. Who would this go up to? Bill Clinton. Great. <laughs> manga tuck, another manga tuck. Well, this is nice. I got two manga tucks. And let's see, Vars are good. The Norwegian plates are gold, not gonna lie. I know I'm already making my money back right there. I have this plate. This is left in, right? Left in China. I have a pitcher and bowl out of this pattern, not this plate, this pattern. Um, and I think the picture was chipped or the bowl was chipped. I just know that I use it in my living room because it's not in pristine condition. The plate, this plate is in pristine condition, but this is a left in pattern. So if, if nothing else, there'll be a left in collector who's got like, you know, five plates and they wanted six and we'll put it on Etsy. It'll go lovely. <sighs> Merry Christmas. O.H. Moen, 1517 Fifth Street South. What? Uh, what year was this? 1912 calendar on a plate. It's a 1912 calendar plate for anybody who wants one. I don't know who that company is. Again, more research will need to be done. This is hand-painted, very charming little Christmas plate. Over the river and through the woods sort of feature on there. Very nice. I mean, it's not Thomas Kincaid, but there's lights. Yeah, Thomas. They didn't have to put it on some socks, but they got... <laughs> That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching this portion of the auction haul. There'll be more tomorrow. Um, we got through two boxes tonight. There's an entire van out there. It'll take a couple days. That's okay. I'll get, uh, give me a chance to get uh, get it cleaned up in here when you're not watching and get Uncle Amel's dresser underway. You don't need to watch the prep stuff anymore. You need you you guys have seen that a million times. So we'll do more um, haul videos tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you'd like to get yourself a happy junkin' shirt, and let me tell you, you wear them, you find your people like everywhere. Uh, you click the links below and get those. Uh, if you want to send me a thrift flip chance, so late I can't even remember what my spiel is. If you'd like to send me a thrift flip challenge, you can send that to the PO box. You can send anything else there you want as well. Just no creepy mail. And if you'd like to buy me, you could do this with me. Y'all could do this with me at this point. Would you like to buy me a coffee? It's like Patreon without the monthly commitment. <laughs>
Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.